This is Paul Naval with DevOps in the Cloud. Uh, in this episode, we're going over a new offering from Amazon Web Services called Elastic Beanstalk. It was only released a few days ago. So Elastic Beanstalk is a platform as a service offering without the limitations of most past offerings, such as Google App Engine. It's quite compelling because you can quickly deploy applications into a cloud environment uh, with only a few clicks. Uh, right now, Beanstalk is limited to Java Tomcat envir environments, but I expect this is only the beginning. So let's get started. So I'll be going over these uh, 12 items. You know, I had a request a Beanstalk account, downloading a WAR file, creating a new application, launching an environment, um, configuring. There's a lot, lots that you can configure with this. Uh, viewing system events, uh, deleting an application. So let's get started with uh, requesting a, a Beanstalk account. So it's to, uh, it's the same kind of thing where uh, with EC2 and S3, you kind of request in the same way, you go through the process. So first thing we're going to do is actually uh, download a WAR file. So I'm going to actually be using Hudson Continuous Integration Server. Uh, some of you might be familiar with Hudson. Um, download one of the versions here. I actually have been downloading two different versions. Um, so you can see uh, some examples of uploading new versions and so on. So now we're going to, uh, now that we've got the WAR files, create a new application. Uh, we click the button here in the Beanstalk, uh, create a new application. We put in the application name. Um, so it needs to be a unique name because it builds this environment URL. As you can see here, you can check to see that the URL um, is available. Um, add your particular uh, description to it. I am uh, creating and deploying a Hudson uh, CI server. You can choose from 32, 32 and 64-bit. And I'm going to choose one of the, um, the wars that I just uh, had downloaded. And I click the button to launch the new uh, application. All right, now you can launch an environment. You can launch multiple environments um, for your application. Same kind of thing, you click the button to launch the new environment. And um, again, needs to be a, um, a unique uh, URL that gets created. Um, adding a, de a description here, and then I can also upload um, a um, the war war file in this case again it's the uh, the Hudson war file that I'm uploading here. So this actually takes a little while, but I'm gonna I'm shortening it as part of this. Uh, the screencast. And you can see I'm running uh, two different environments here, two, basically the same application, um, but uh, two different types of environments. Um, so I could put one on 62 bits and one on 30, uh, sorry, 64 bit, one on 32 bit, and so on. All right, so now that we got everything uploaded and, and that we're now going to uh, view the applications, there's actually multiple ways of doing this. So I'm just going to click on the link here. And you can see um, that I'm bringing up. Uh, I now have a working Hudson uh, continuous integration server. I can configure it, and you know it's running. I don't have to, you know, worry about uptime and, and those types of things. Everything is really managed for me as a platform as a service. So if I want to, I can modify the application description, and you know I can also um, uh, edit the application configuration. This is a lot more extensive. Um, so in choosing environment details, I can click on the edit configuration. There's a way on the right there as well to actually edit the configuration. But here you really, you literally have about 100 different uh, options. Um, if you look through all the different tabs and also uh, you know, some of the drop downs and text fields, it, uh, there's a lot that you can configure. So it's not like a typical, or at least for instance, like Google App Engine, um, where uh, you know you're you're a bit limited. Um, you actually have a lot of ways that you can configure. It. So it's sort of the best of both worlds is they're providing um, the the Java stack and platform for you, and then you can uh, make the modifications. Here I'm actually making a modification to change from small to uh, medium uh, instance type. Or sorry, uh, micro to small uh, instance type. So I can apply the changes and we'll restart the, uh, the application server. All right, if I wanted to say upload a new version of the war, I can then just 
in this case is click on the, the versions tab and I can click on the button to upload a new version um, I want to indicate you know it's uh, the 1.3 or 1.390 of the Hudson Moore um, add my description to it that's optional and then I just browse for the the war file basically the same operation I did before when I was launching an environment and application but the point here is that you have specific versions in this case um, I, the last time I had 1393 this time I'm putting in the 1390 version in there you can have these multiple versions and apply them to the you know the various uh, environments that you that you set up I can click on the uh, application and if you scrolling down you can see that it's the 1390 version so I can delete one of the versions as well uh, or any of the versions uh, in this case I have three uh, versions out there and I'm gonna um, delete the, the one that I had set up originally and it also in this case is actually deleted the from s3 as well the, uh, the war file here I'm configuring the notification service I edit the configuration. As I said, there's lots of different options. Here's the option to put in the email address. So I get notifications. And then you can see uh, we can check out the email um, that you received and confirm the subscription. You can see that the notification service is on for the application. You, got, you can also view system events. Um, so there's actually a lot of information here. You have events, monitoring, uh, logs. Uh, you can see the monitoring. Um, basically uh, real-time or close to real-time. You can actually configure how often it checks as well. Um, you can look at the logs. Um, you know, it's running on Tomcat. You can look at the Tomcat logs and and um, you can actually do uh, um, log rotation through S3 as well. And then finally uh, you can uh, delete the application. Um, so in this case uh, I haven't uh, deleted any versions and you'll just see the process that you really want to delete the versions first to get some out of S3 um, before you delete the application. Um, in this case I just deleted it, the application first and, but in, in this example I'm going to actually delete the versions. I delete the versions from Amazon S3 um, and, then, uh, and then I can delete the application. If you forget to do that 